Hey everyone, LP here, and uh, the uh, the purpose of this video is to educate you into some of the things that are happening around in your world. The left is in a full meltdown. I don't like doing all of these, uh, uh, for lack of better words, uh, political videos, but listen, uh, we're going to watch some of these things and we're going to comment on them from the, uh, the prepper's perspective. Uh, just listen to what's saying. Maybe you can watch. Some of it's actually quite funny, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. Also, before we jump into that, uh, my analytics show that 60% of you are not subscribers, uh, and uh, but you watch my videos anyway. While I appreciate that, because I do get a lot of thumbs up for these kind of things, if you guys could hit that subscribe button, it would be even better. Super cool. Super cool. So if you would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to transition over here real quick. And we're going to start pushing this button right here. And boom. Stop. Stop. Damn. Well. Oh, yeah. Also, full attribution uh, to the gentleman who made these videos. There's a series of them that are here on YouTube. Uh, also, I need to play some music uh, so that uh, the algorithms don't figure out that I'm borrowing this. So a little bit of smooth jazz there on the bottom. People seem to like. Maybe it'll maybe it'll move dull the mood a little bit. But uh, yeah, um, yeah. I'll put a link to this guy's uh, web or his uh, YouTube channel. You can go check out all of his videos. Don't worry, this is not that long. Oop, I need to push that button right there. <laughs> See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cops ain't gonna believe. This is a classic example of an undeveloped adult uh, arrested development. Uh, I would not say that psychological disorder, but I would definitely I'm gonna turn it down just here. It's a little louder than I want it to be. Hey, there you go. Before you start writing in the comments, audio music too loud. Anyway, so this is definitely a classic example of arrested development. Uh, this child was not disciplined when it was a child. So it is still a child. It's just overgrown. All right, let's go ahead. Man, I got some more fun. Oh, this shit. What the fuck? Wow. kid clearly has no friends because if he did he would be doing this to them and not to a camera on the in his bathroom it's actually like propped up on his toilet real classy you voted for donald trump i will never not know that about you and that's something we'll both have to live with. We don't care. Let me tell you, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. I will be leaving the country and my dad will be staying blocked after this election. See you never. Yeah, someone actually is going to block their father. Their father. I bet they call their mom asking dad to give him money though, don't they? Fuck this. Bye, bitch. It's so great, great. Like, like we're just gonna wake up tomorrow morning and everything's gonna go back to the way it, like it'll all it'll be a psych it'll be like a really bad dream and none of this will have ever happen right like it'll be like the first time and then we're all gonna pull through fine in four years this person clearly has a very loose grasp on reality once again undeveloped adults correct please Did someone tell me I can tell you one thing right now, marriage is the farthest thing from on the table currently. So they really, they screwed the pooch on that one if they thought that any of this was gonna actually help with the whole family and kids department. And See, and unfortunately this is exactly how they the the undeveloped mind works. I, I can't withhold anything for, oh wait, I can withhold my body from you. Oh, oh, I can never get married now. Oh, because, not because I'm just an angry little girl instead of a fully developed woman, but oh, because I know that I've got the power of the cooch and that most 18 year olds uh, just really want that. And I'm super cute, uh, but um, yeah, no. Sorry, ladies, this is a huge mistake on your part. And, and lowering birth rates because that, no, nah, nah, -uh, not even any semblance of thoughts I had or hope for that is completely going to be a no thanks for me, love. 
Do you think I would ever even dare bring a child into this country now? It was rough before. Now? No. We just moved That's away. That's cute. And the men don't even give no, don't even get me started about dating. To think, I was still entertaining a few moderates here and there sometimes. No, honey, no, not even close. That's never goodbye. Welcome to the desert that is your body now. This one should be interesting. I love the. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if the T-shirt from Sesame Street on a grown adult. Well, barely adult. She's wearing braces, but um, I mean, and that's not a big thing. But uh, let's see what what let's see what the T-shirt brings. Now I'm about to say something, and some of y'all are gonna get real mad at me. But honestly, at this point, I really just don't care. Um, I genuinely hope an asteroid hits uh, the United States of America. I have given up on humanity in this country. I think it'd be better if, honestly, we were just all gone. I think we should just have another like mass extinction. I think that would really solve everybody's problems. Another child. I, I, another child. I just kind of am done. I don't think we people. Some people just can't come back from this, bro. Nothing to say because it's all emotion. I think we just need to start over. Wipe it out. Start over. She doesn't even know why she's angry. That's how God would do it. That's how God would do it. Just saying. Me and my family are leaving. Um, just talked to my mom about it. We're we're leaving. We're seeking an asylum somewhere else. But I just want to say this: in the states where the votes matter the most, first things first. No one's going anywhere. These people don't have two pennies to put together who say this kind of stuff. And the ones who are rich already have homes in Europe, so no one's going anywhere. Let's see what else she's got to say. 69% of white women in Pennsylvania voted for Donald Trump. <clears throat> and then I believe it was like 67 or 68% of white women voted for Donald Trump in like Michigan. And all the other swing states where it really mattered, white women came in, turned up for Donald Trump. Black people, hear me and hear me well. This is not going to work out for us. It's not. I'm leaving. I'm not staying for the handmaid's tale. This is something I've, I keep seeing over and over, the handmaiden's tale, because they all believe that now, now somehow that they're going to be some kind of sexual surrogate. I'm not sure where they're getting this information, but I, I'm not even seeing it on mainstream media. Um, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of scary. I'm not. And not only that, our rights are gone as we know it. So... Donald Trump literally said he wanted to take it back to a time specifically where black people's votes didn't matter. And that's not even true. But we're going to move on anyway because she's clearly not educated. They even tried to take that shit to the Supreme Court. And never went to the Supreme Court, never happened. We're going to try to get Kamala removed from the race. Oh, Kamala, you know, she she should have helped me with my, my child support. How, how, well, you know, Hey, she didn't win. Congratulations on that part. But you do understand that with no abortion rights. I love, I can't wait till, to see what she says next. She's literally trying to connect the dots to abortion rights. Let's see what she's got to say. You back to beat the pappy. So, you know what? If this is what y'all wanted, I'm happy for you, America. I'm happy that y'all got the results that y'all wanted since he won the way that he won i'm happy y'all got what y'all wanted but i am leaving you know what they say if you don't like it, you can this leave. Girl needs and baby you ain't got to worry about me you ain't got to worry about me say it one more time i was just walking oh. down the street oh my god hold on oh when they when they when they just are start breaking into tears we just kind of know what's happening so here we go to go and get my medication because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> okay, so why is she out of medication? She's clearly not a prepper. I mean, just look at her. I mean, come on. There's more money in her nose right now than there is money in her pocket or in her bank account. She's probably used up all of her credit cards on this, that, or the other thing. And um, yeah, Chase Medical, Chase Daly. Yeah, you guys should be doing that. Link in the description. Shameless promotion. Thank you, crazy liberal girl. Let's continue. And I saw a woman walking her two kids, and she had this look on her face. 
And I looked at her, we made eye contact, we both kind of nodded. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> just devastated. And you could just tell in her in her eyes. <laughs> I can't believe this country did this again. Why did I let myself have hope? I just texted my best friend. Oh no, not that. My best friend of 14 years. Oh boy. I'm sensing a breakup. I'm I'm feeling a breakup. Let's let's see what happens. Literally half of my life, I'm 28, and I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump, and they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite, and I said yes, and then my friend texted me and said... You know, I'm going to stop this girl right here. We're going to finish listening to her, but if she's your friend of 14 years, then you already know who she votes for, and she already knows who you voted for. So why is this a giant emotional issue? Let's see if she tries to cut her out of her life forever now. Will you still be my friend? Half of my life. This person is my best friend. And she's such a small person that she's about to cut her best friend out of her life. This is this is the this is the I want to say idiots of the left, idiocy of the left, but this is undeveloped human beings. Thank you, care of the U.S. Department of Education and the failing education system and helicopter parents and people who have just failed their own children. I don't even think you fucking assholes realize what you did. Wow. Now because you elected Trump in office, I gotta go and spend fucking less for gas, less at groceries, have a savings account that my kids can actually be proud of. We could actually do something with it. I don't know. Maybe like a vacation to Florida or something. Who knows? Now I gotta get used to a strong Ooh. economy, secure borders, no new wars. What kind of shit is that? Make America great again. <laughs> So this is the first time I'm watching this, and this is all very, um, I, I did not expect that. Hopefully everybody got a good giggle out of that. You know, facts matter. Facts matter. Here we go. It is not over for Kamala. It's not over. And all of you celebrating a Trump victory okay. before the votes are even fully okay. counted, may I remind you that a lot can change at the last minute. And even if we do fail to win the presidency for Kamala, after all the work I've done for white dudes for Kamala. All right, what's this guy doing for white dudes and Kamala? That just, that sounds dirty. Over the last few months, we will return in 2028. Kamala 2028 will be the greatest political comeback the world has ever seen. Not just America, but the world. And all right, let's stop him right there. Uh, clearly he made this video before. She lost everything. And we took the Senate back, and it looks like we're going to retain the House. Hmm. I wonder what this guy's doing right now. He's like sitting on his couch, like, man, I was really stupid to make this video. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Let's, let's see if he has anything insightful to say. And I firmly believe that Kamala is still the best person wrong in the whole of the United wrong. States to be the president wrong. of the country. And if we band together now, if we pull back some of those white dudes who went for Trump this time <laughs> by growing the white dudes for Harris campaign. White dudes for Harris campaign. Was this really a real thing? Did I, did I miss something? Put something in the comments, guys. We can make a permanent change. We can put a, put the MAGA crowd away once and for all. 
<laughs> I'm dispirited. Oh my God, he's not going to break into tears. I mean, I'm so tired of these people. I mean, I'm not even a MAGA crowd. I'm an independent. And I just don't understand this whole, it's like they're pretending that the people in the MAGA crowd are cultists. But these are the actions of a cultist. It's so mind blowing. And it's not even hypocrisy, it's mental illness. This grown man is going to break into tears over this. All right, here we go. I am dispirited by what has happened, but we can't just give up. We can't just stop now. It's so close. It was so close. There's just so much hate in this country. So much hate and misinformation from Oh, my God. So now, oh my God, these, see, this is the problem with young men now. When I say young men, I mean like men, even into their thirties. I particularly know one socialist in his thirties who still has not wrapped his mind around the idea of the rugged American individualist. They all want to be part of this, this, uh, uh, this, this, uh, gelatinous, uh, group of cells that that they pretend is America when it's really not. It's 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 to this point it's it's a little. Let's just say this guy wears really skinny jeans. That that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say because I don't have any anything else positive to say about him. Let's see if we can't finish this guy up. But and this we've got to fight back. We've got to fight back, Kamala 2028. We're coming back. <laughs> we love Trump. We love Trump. We love Trump. Well, we at all. If you want to leave this, just know that the great deplorables of the United Kingdom love you. We are with you. We stand with you. And we want you to succeed. Forget about the people of the continent. Forget about the establishment. Forget about the detractors in the fake news media. The real people out there in the United Kingdom. We love you, Mr. President. Two already. Oh, Jesus. I have lost two friends today because of this election. Lost. Lost. Did, did they fall out of your pocket? Um, did you misplace them when you were walking down the street after you got your triple latte whatever, foo-foo coffee drink with your scone? Is that what happened? I mean, what are, are they lost like the pigment in your skin because you never go outside? Are they lost like the actual collagen underneath your eyes? Because, lady, you, you've got a problem. You've got a serious, serious problem. No, Not because we had a difference of opinion, but because they're dead. Oh no. No. Oh no. I don't think y'all get it. I just woke up and I found out that the big motherfucking orange, stupid Oompa Loompa motherfucking okay, ass. Okay, so here we go. Um, once again, an undeveloped human being. And how do we know that? Because everything that they say is emotionally based because they never spent half the you know that they never spent the time in high school that they were supposed wait a minute that's right they weren't taught to actually have a dialect to have a discourse you know or a discord you should know the difference in those words they were never taught any of this and they were never made to do it because we just teach to test because our education sucks and our parents even suck more that's just back in office I broke up with my boyfriend last night because he told me he regrets meeting me because I spoke about how I should have my rights. And then... No, he probably broke up with you because you you clawed out of him that he voted for Trump. And then you went into a, a, a two-year-old tantrum slash hissy fit from hell. And now you're on some social media site telling people all of your problems... I have to go plan a Disney trip. <laughs> should be fun. Should be graceful. No, wrong. My family has been in a war for the past like two weeks with each other. We're not on good terms. None of us are happy. Okay. Yeah. And let alone, I have to sit for the next hour with my sister and her toxic ass motherfucking boyfriend. You think I'm doing okay? You really think I'm doing okay? Oh, oh, and I'm hungover. And I'm- oh, yeah, that explains it all right there, doesn't it? 
hungover. Let's just get that into the fucking playbook. Why not? What else can go wrong? Give it to me, motherfucking world. I feel absolutely so betrayed. Here we go, another crybaby. All right, we'll take a deep breath here. By my country right now. And it's so frustrating. I don't even know what to say right now. We tried, okay? To everyone from other countries that are saying America failed, we tried. The system is inherently flawed, and we tried. And to anybody who follows me on TikTok, if you are happy about the results of the election, unfollow me right now. Get off my page. Do not talk to me. I don't care if I've known you. And see, this is exactly what the social division is really about. This was social division was all about Captain Red Tie and how he was socially dividing everybody. But let's see who's making these videos about social division. Who's making videos about promoting social division? This is pretty interesting, isn't it? Not really. For years, basically anybody with a high school. I do not want to talk to you ever not. again. The fact that you would purposefully vote for somebody who wants to take away my rights as a woman don't ever talk to me again and for the information of any 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 of the lefties that watch this video um, no rights were taken away in fact there were many um, enshrined rights uh, that were voted on on the same election day in multiple states that protected women's rights don't say reproductive rights. Every human being has the right to reproduce. Get your words right. Quick question. So does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman? Yeah, or I'm not going to play this one. We're going to fast forward through this because I've actually seen this video in the past. And uh, she basically the Secret Services should be paying her a visit uh, and to, uh, to get her trash in one place. I think you know where we're going with that. Forgive me for being a little emotional here. You're forgiven. But what the fuck is going on? People in the future are going to look back at this time and they're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Wait, dude, because we were progressing. WTF. When Obama got elected, I really feel like we were, we were progressing. We were going in the right motherfucking direction. Okay. But then really? Trump comes in and he gives a voice to the voiceless. He gives a voice to the criminals, to the racists, to the white motherfuckers who want to be back on top. Mm. I don't want to touch another man with a 10-foot motherfucking pole. Then you're going to be a dried up old hag. Have a great day. I just, I just honestly don't want to listen to her because... It's not that I don't want to hear her voice. It's just that she can't say a single sentence without using a curse word. And that's really not good for the YouTubes. I mean this in the most disrespectful, mean way I can even say wow. it. But if you voted for Donald Trump, then you don't deserve any part of my life. Um, you don't deserve to be part of my children's life, my husband's life, uh, my extended family's life. Um, none of it. You don't get any of it. Um, you have uh, directly infringed upon the rights of people that I love, people that I care. I just want to go out and make this woman's husband my best friend ever and like smile at her. Care about. Um, you know, you have infringed upon the rights of people that I don't even know. Um, if you don't know them, how do you know that someone's rights have been infringed on? Oh my God. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to carry on. I don't know how much more of like this I can take. Um, and this election has really shown that American values do not align with my values um, as a person, as a human, um, as a social worker, as um, you know, someone who actually cares about other people. Um, so, you know, if you find yourself as you were one that voted for, you know, the Republican Party, um, no, thank you. What is wrong with you? All right, we're going to go ahead and stop there, guys. And 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 the reason we're going to stop right right now, uh, and and I'm sorry, uh, this video is like 25 minutes long, and uh, and the original video is only 20 minutes long. So with my talking over, it's just too long. So listen, be aware that people are going to be unmanageable. They're going to be 
inconsolable. They are going to lose their minds. There is a certain sect of the American population where these type of people have traditionally in the past been forced to live under rocks because society would not accept them. We let them in. They spread their wings. They crapped all over us. And now that they think that they're in charge of some higher ground, some greater morality that um, they, uh, they can do and say whatever they want. And it's just not correct. The jig is up. The game is over. Now it's just a matter of fixing things, fixing all the broken things. And maybe we need to bring... I, Hey, write your congressman and talk, talk to them about bringing back and saying asylums because I'm going to bet that that's going to be a booming industry here in the next four years. All right, guys, as usual, uh, if you like what I'm doing, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up on the way out the door. It does help. Uh, hit the subscribe button. If you've never seen any of my videos before, please go watch some of them. I'm sure one will pop up here in a second. Uh, and as usual, stay safe, have a great day, and I shall see you when I see you. Bye-bye.